Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Lee. I live in Ohio and I'm going to be doing a makeup look today, recreating an Instagram filter that I used last year. Um, and in case you haven't already, hit the subscribe button uh, so you can look forward to new videos by me in the future. Uh, but today we're gonna be recreating a fun Instagram filter that I used last year that has a nose ring, freckles, and a little bit of shading in my eye. It was just a, kind of a fun look. I do have a little bit of freckles, but you can't see them. So I'll be putting fake ones on. The look that I'm gonna be recreating, I will show now. Okay, now for today's look, I am gonna stick with all drugstore makeup again. Um, probably nothing super new that's come out, but all drugstore makeup and super affordable. I've already washed my face and put moisturizer on it because uh, it is pretty dry because it's cold here in Ohio. So I got dry skin. Uh, so for the next step we're gonna do is put some primer on. Now, because it's winter, I get a little bit of redness here, here, and here. So I'm going to use a color correcting primer. Uh, this one's by Maybelline Master Prime. And we're going to use the green tint because it will cancel out the red on my face. So I am going to apply this first with my finger. For the next step, I want to smooth everything out just a little bit more because I want to get that Instagram filter look. So for the smoothing, I'm going to use one of my favorites. And it's also by Maybelline. And it is the Baby Skin. So I am going to put, it's the Instant Pore Eraser Baby Skin, and I'm going to put that just where I have pores and wrinkles so that it smooths everything out and I can get that filter look. So I'm going to apply this with my Now that I have all the primer on, I want to cancel out my dark circles. So I am going to use a color correcting concealer, and this one's by e.l.f. Boom, there it is. And I'm going to use the uh, peach shade, and I'm going to put that under my circles, through here where my fine lines are, and kind of... Uh, neutralize all the darkness that I have. So I will be right back with that. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I had the color correcting concealer on, and you can see that alone has already evened out my skin a lot. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna use any other concealers because just with the full coverage uh, makeup and the color correcting concealer, it should be fine. So for the next step, I am going to be using my foundation. This one's by L'Oreal, and this is the infallible total, um, total cover. Do want a full coverage if we want to get that filter look. For this, I will be using my Beauty Blender. So I'm going to put all this on, and then I shall return it back. Now I have all the foundation on, and you can see that gave me a nice, clean, uh, clear slate to be putting on my makeup and having fun with this. Now the next step will be my powder. For that one, I'm going to use the one I usually use, and it is by Rimmel the Stay Matte. Uh, I've been using it so long, I've even dropped it, and I still use it. Uh, so I'm going to put this everywhere so that I don't get oily in spots and just to even give me a little bit more coverage and uh, cleanness to the face so that I get at that filter look. Uh, so I'm going to put this on with this brush and then I shall return all the powder on. See? Even better. So for the next step, because I am recreating a filter, I do want to do some contouring. So I'm going to use my favorite contour that I have right now until I can find all the other ones that are packed away. And it is the one by Wet n Wild, it is the bronzer. And this shade that I'm using today is um, Palm Beach Ready. It's not my favorite because it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, I would rather have matte, but since it's packed away, this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm pretty sure for at least the picture part of it, it'll be just fine. Uh, so I'm gonna contour here to slim my face down and a little bit in here, even though again, in, in that original picture, there wasn't a lot of contouring, but I still wanna give it that filter look. So, and then a little bit up here, and then I'm gonna thin out my nose. Um, and then I shall return and show you what that now looks like. Now I have the contour on. That's how I do it. Uh, if you can see it in person, it is a little bit more shimmery than what I would like, but again, for an Instagram filter picture, it'll be just fine. So I am gonna blend it out again with my brush and probably add a little bit of the stay matte just to make it blend a little bit more. And then I'll show you what that completed look with looks it like. All blended out. I still left it a little bit more darker than I would if I was going somewhere, but because we're doing a picture, it'll all come together when we're done. Um, so for the next step, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. In that original picture, they weren't uh, super thick or anything special. So I just wanna fill them in a little bit so that they're not so sparse and crooked as they are now. And for that today, I'm gonna use a different one that I've been using. This one is by L'Oreal, and it is the Brow Stylist. Boost and set, boom. Um, I like this one again because it's already got a brush and it's got the color gel. And this one's pretty light, so it won't be as um, dark and uh, 
Stark up against my pale face. So I'm gonna put this on and then I shall return with I'm that. Active. Now um, I have the eyebrows done. You can see they're just kind of natural uh, and a little bit of light color so that they're not real stark and crazy, but enough to where I get that filter look. Uh, so for the next step, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. In the original picture, it was like a brown, uh, just kind of in the corners and a light collar on the lid. And that's all I'm going to do today. So for that shadow, I'm going to use my one of my favorite drugstore brands, Wet Wild. And this one is the Naked Truth. Um, this one's a really nice one to take if you're traveling because it's teeny weeny. And it's got everything that I would need. Um, so we're going to start with that. Now I'm not going to use a primer or anything because um, I'm not going anywhere. So I don't need this to last all day. So I'm going to start with where I always start and putting a light collar right there in the corners and at the... At top of my um, eye right below my brow for that one I'm going to use I can't even tell which what it's called but this one right here so I'm gonna put that one on so now I have on the uh, corners the shadow on the corners it is a little bit too shimmery for me to put up here for the look that I'm going for today so for right underneath my brow I am actually going to use this one right here it's matte and it's light and I'm just gonna put a little bit right underneath my brows to draw a little bit of attention there now I have that one on. Now for the lids. That was also a light matte collar. So I'm gonna use this one again, and I'm just gonna apply it right here on my lids. And I'm gonna use my fingers again. Uh, for these looks, I usually, uh, except for when I go in the corner, I just use my fingers. So I'm gonna put that matte right there on the lids, and we will see how that looks. Okay, I'm back. This is the uh, light collar right there on my lids. See, just a little bit. Now I'm going to define my crease in my lids and for that i'm going to use some generic brush that i got at walmart this little thing right here and i'm just going to blend in uh, i want something light so i'm going to use this one right here to start with just kind of blend it in uh, that's not the one that i'll end up staying with but it's at least good, light enough that i can start so just put that right there in the corners okay now i have that on uh, and that's a little bit more of a gray tone than what i want to stay with so I'm going to add a little bit deeper brown, um, but I'm going to blend this one out first with this blender brush. Again, I don't know what any of these are called. I just go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and get them. So I'm going to blend this out just a little bit with this. And see, that's more of what I was wanting for that collar. So now for the deeper brown, um, and then we'll almost be done with the eyes. We are going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to put that one just there in the corners to bring my eyes out a little bit. Okay, now I have this on, uh, so I just need to blend it out. For that again, I'm gonna use this blender brush, make sure there's nothing left on it, and I'm gonna blend this out, and then we will see what the finished eyeshadow okay, looks like. it's all like. blended in. Now for the next step, I wanna make my eyes look brighter, whiter, so I'm gonna again use a light white um, eyeliner on my inner lid right there. This is what I'm gonna use, and for today's, this one, I think it's by Rimmel. Um, now it's by Coors. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but I know Rimmel and Maybelline have a really awesome one. Again, I have some makeup packed away that I can't find. So we're going to use this and put it right on in there to really make our eyes look bigger. Okay, I see I've got the white eyeliner on now. It looks pretty stark and um, silly <laughs> when it looks not done. But I promise when I get the mascara and the other eyeliner and my lips done, it'll all come together. Now for the next step, I had a winged look in that. So we're gonna recreate that again. And I'm gonna use my favorite black uh, eyeliner for wing look. And that one's by the NYX. And this is the vinyl, and I'm sure it's black, whatever it's called, yep, black. Um, I like this one because it's shiny. It's like a patent leather, I think I said that before. So it's, and it's cheap. So it's one of my favorites to use. Um, so I'm gonna use this. Um, I read online that you could try to do a wing look by doing dots. So I'm going to try that and then I'll let you know if that helped me. Um, but I'm not going to film the whole thing of me doing it because I mess up a lot and you guys would get bored watching me put on eyeliner for a half an okay. hour. This is the wing look. The dot thing, no, not for me. It didn't work. Maybe if I was doing a more dramatic wing, it would or different eyeliner, but for that one, mm -mm. but I didn't mess up. I got it all done in one try. So, woohoo, yay me. Um, so now for the mascara. For that, I need to curl my lashes first and my handy dandy sparkly uh, eyelash curler. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll get to the mascara. Now I have them all curled. 
don't know if you can see them because they're still pretty blonde. So for the last step of my eyes, it'd be mascara. And for today, I'm not using Lash Paradise. I am going to use one by Ulta, and it is the Maximum Lashes. So I'm gonna put that on, and my eyes will be done. Okay, now the mascara's on. Now I use the teeth, and that's what makes my lashes so long. So I would suggest that if we're gonna go for an Instagram filter look, that you may wanna put false lashes on if you don't use Latisse, uh, just to give it a little bit of an extra filter look, because a lot of times the filters actually make your lashes longer or darker. So uh, we're done with that. So now I'm gonna move on to the cheeks. Now for the cheeks, um, I had just a little bit of blush in that one, and that's about all that it really showed. So I'm just gonna use one of my favorite um, go-to blushes. And again, Wet n Wild, because again, it's one of my favorite brands. Um, and this one again is the Pearlescent Pink. Cause I just want a little bit of color there. Uh, actually kind of mostly in the cheeks, which I usually don't do, but I have my contour, and that's because that's kind of how the filter was. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right in there, and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay, now I'm back. So that, see, it does kind of have that filtered look. Um, it actually makes you look a little bit younger if you could put like a nice pink, light pink, right there kind of on the apples of your cheeks. Um, but it's still a little bit too much for me, um, although I'm not going to take a lot of it off because this is going to be for a picture. So I'm going to blend a little bit of it out, and then we'll get to the highlighter. Okay, this is the cheeks all blended out. I still may add a little bit more um, because in the filter they were a little bit pinker, but we're gonna move on to the highlighter for now. And for that, this one's by BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna mix two of them. But this is their palette, the Spotlight Six uh, Color Palette. And I'm gonna mix the Ethereal and the Glow to get the look that I want. You probably could just do the Ethereal, but it doesn't show up as much in pictures, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this Glow so that I have that extra highlight because again, this is gonna be a fake filter. Uh, so I'm going to start with my nose, then my cheeks, and then I will show you what that, oh, and my lips, duh. And then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Now the highlighter's on, and it's banal. So I got to blend it out with my brush too, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, now I have the highlighter all blended out. And for the last step before the freckly part will be my lips. Um, so I'm going to use like a stain. Although it's not technically a stain, but a long-lasting lip color. This one's by CoverGirl, and it's the 574. And it's a pink because it will match the pink that's in my outfit. So I'm going to put that on. And in that original picture, I had a really light shade of pink. I probably had nothing on, and the filter probably put pink on there. So we're going to do a really light pink, and then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to it when I'm done with this one. So I'm going to put this one on first. There it is. <laughs> I got it all done. So that's what the, uh, see it's just a light pink. It looks a lot brighter here than what it does when it comes on. So it's just a really light pink uh, shimmery color that will last all day. It is very drying though, so I always put a top coat or gloss on top of it. Um, and today, we're gonna be using another one by Wet n Wild. Again, it's one of my favorites. Um, and this one I think was a holiday collection, but it is a lip gloss and it's rose quartz. I love this one. Uh, so I'm gonna put this one on and then we'll be moving on to the last step, which is the freckles. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's nice and sparkly uh, and shiny. So that's what we want for this uh, filter look. So for the last step of my uh, uh, makeup is just applying the fake freckles. Now, what I chose to use for fake freckles is actually an eyebrow collar. This one is by Rimmel Brow Shake. Um, its brush isn't one of my favorites because it doesn't give you that brush look. See, it's like this. So that one's not good for um, for my um, eyebrows, but it will be perfect for these freckles. But to apply them, I need a little skinny brush. Um, so I'm gonna use this one right here, and then I'm gonna try to make them look as natural as I can. And the filter, I had them all over my nose and down here, and that's what we're gonna be going for today. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> okay, now I have the fake freckles on. Now, if you were in person with me, uh, they look kind of silly. Uh, they're not something that I would want to wear out. I would make them look more natural. But since we're going for a filter look, if you look, it's like they almost move with my face. So I thought these turned out, let me put a little bit more right here. I thought these turned out pretty good for a filter look. There we go, see? Now for the last step of my face, 
would be a nose ring. And I have a fake nose ring in the filter. Now, I don't have a nose ring, and I'm probably not going to get any. But what I do have is a toe ring. And, and of course, it's Disney because... You know, that's, that's my crap right there is Disney. Uh-huh. These are my little Disney ears. So I'm going to use a Disney toe ring that has my birthstone, a little crystal, little white crystal, and I'm going to put that on my nose. I think there was a gold one in the picture, but, you know, we make do with what we have. But the toe ring's perfect for this look because, look, it goes open opens and closes. You could get something, if you really wanted to recreate this and wear this out, you could get a little toe ring that maybe didn't have a Disney character on it at Walmart for like $4. So, um, or if you want to just recreate it for the picture, you could go get this. But that is a good way to fake a nose ring, a <laughs> toe ring. So I'm going to put that on and then I will show you what that looks like. There's my uh, fake nose ring. I mean, you know, it's not perfect because it's a little Disney character, um, but it works for at least the picture. Now, to complete the look, I'm actually going to change my hair a little bit, and then I will come back and show you what that looks like, and I will show you the completed look, no filter, uh, and how, and the original picture with a filter. So, give me one. Boom. Okay, that, uh, my hair is a little wild, but I thought this looked more like a filter look than just a ponytail. So, this is me with my filter recreating now, all except for the hair is a little different, a little crazy, but you know what? It's going to work that's how it is in the filters so let it go so this is it done and then I will show you the picture uh, completely done and the outfit that I have because this actually kind of goes with the fun outfit that I have on today and then that completes today's look um, <clears throat> again if you guys have any suggestions anything that you would like to see any comments or uh, if you would ever like to know the products that I use listed, just let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video or on my TikTok when I go dancing to my new look. Uh, otherwise, you guys have an amazing rest of the week, and I will see you guys later.